Welcome to Equidem. My name is Julio and I'm going to be taking you through a quick tour and demonstration of our platform and how to value your own company. Uh, what are we going to be covering in this video? We're going to be covering basically the methodology. So how are we valuing companies? We're going to look at the data input so you can see what information you need in order to get started on the platform. And if you stick around until the end of the video, uh, you'll even get a little walkthrough of the report. So make sure that you stick around. So let's dive right in. We're starting on the dashboard where we can see pretty much the current status of our valuation at all times. As we're updating data in the platform, this result as well will reflect those updates. So your pre-money valuation is what we're trying to calculate, right? My company is worth 9.9 .9 million today, um, this example company. And this valuation is based off of five different valuation models, a combination of qualitative and quantitative base models. Um, the reason why we calculate valuation using five different valuation models is because we need to gather valuation from as many points of view as possible to get a well-rounded understanding of that company's value. There's no point in looking at only one aspect. It's better to look at as many aspects as possible. Um, so this is why we include five different methods. What happens is that as you're inputting data, these models will then calculate themselves, right? And you're going to get five different valuation results, basically. So you're basically getting va valued five different ways. What we do in order to get to the final pre-money valuation is we're averaging these five results, right? We're averaging these five numbers. Um, we don't just use a normal average system. We're using a weighted average system. So some models are weighted more heavily into the final result than other methods. And this is supposed to highlight stage of development, right? So really early stage companies are going to be valued more on qualitative data, whereas more established, more uh, developed stage companies are going to be valued on the financials, right? So it's a way of understanding applicability of data by stage of development the company and once we have averaged these five results we get to your final pre-money valuation right so that's pretty much how equidem is putting together that pre-money valuation it's quite important but it's all well and good talking about the result right how are we getting to this result well we need to input data the data that we are inputting onto the platform, as I mentioned before, is a combination of qualitative and quantitative. Your qualitative consists of a questionnaire. The questionnaire is designed really uh, to take anybody through the process. It's very straight and very transparent. Um, you'll notice that the questions are multiple choice and they're mainly kind of the questions that investors are gonna be, gonna be asking you anyway through, through the due diligence process. You can see here that we're asking questions about four main aspects to the company, which is the team, quality of the team, and the experience, your business model, right? So how the company's been set up, product and market, so looking at things like competition, looking at market size, and of course, IP and legal to see whatever um, intellectual property or kind of legal uh, situation is in the company at the moment. And this is a very straightforward uh, procedure. I think it takes clients generally about 10 or 15 minutes to complete, especially if the founders answering the questions, it takes even less time. So the questionnaire is the first step. And the second step is the financial projection. So financial projections being very important, we're looking at a minimum of three years worth of financial projections to be inputted into the platform. We do look at one past year. If you are a pre-revenue company, don't worry about it. We're more than capable of valuing pre-revenue companies, but we do need at least three years of financial projections. Um, and then of course you have the ability to add more years here at the bottom as well. Um, so if you have a five-year projection plan, don't worry. You can just input some more columns and you have more years. The currency, of course, is, is, a ch is changeable. You can also convert numbers at a specific rate. So if you've already inputted data, let's say in euros, you can convert them to pounds or to dollars. You have that ability to also play around uh, with the currency. Your financial projections or your, or your standard financial projections table, we do have a great uh, financial projections template in our, um, in our blog section. So please don't hesitate to go and have a look at that if you're feeling a bit lost with the financial projections. But this is your standard financial projections table. At the very bottom, we have the ability to input a last available balance sheet if available to the company. If not, don't worry. We simply need these financial projections. These are the most important part. As you can see here at the bottom, I have a save financials tab. If I make a change to the company data, let's say that I've raised my revenues by about 100K and I click save financials, the platform is actually going to tell me how that change in data has affected my final results. So the great thing about Equidam is that you can iterate, you can really input the data that, um, that you feel is necessary. You can go back, you can change data. So it's a great way to be able to see how your final, uh, how your final valuation result changes according to the data being inputted in the platform. And once we get to the questionnaire and the financials, that's pretty much the most that we need 
in terms of data from the company. So this is the information that we need in order to calculate that valuation. The rest of the platform is very easy to go through. So transactions tab is looking at things like the current funding round, how much money is the company trying to raise in this current funding round if it's raising funds, for example, um, and also funds allocation. How is the money going to be used uh, in that company after it has raised those funds? So this is a great way to talk to investors about strategy, um, about the capital injection. And we also have a past funding round section if you want to incorporate this. Again, all of this data is just additional data for, um, for the reports. And then the last step in the process is looking at a company profile. So the company profile is purely aesthetic. We're looking here for company logo. You can input a company. Uh, you can also change the color of the report to match your branding. Very nice and professional. And then we have your competitor section if you want to highlight competitors. And then very importantly, we have a shareholder section where you can highlight the current shareholder structure, uh, who owns what percentage of the company. And then generating reports in order to highlight this data to either a board or either to an investor or to be able to present this data, it's imperative that we have a good report, an easy to understand and digestible report. So going on Equidem, you just click Generate Report. You can see the platform puts that report together in a matter of just a few seconds, right? It doesn't take very long. Um, the report is about 25 pages PDF, right? So uh, very nice and easy to be able to take to investors. At the bottom here, the download section is, I think for me, one of my favorite parts about Equidem is that you can generate as many reports as you want during that valuation period, right? So there's no limits on how many reports you can make. You can go back, you can change some data, generate another report. So it's very important that you have the ability to iterate on this valuation um, to get to the best result, the most defendable results uh, for you to take to investors. And then let's have a look at one of these reports. So we finally get to have a little walkthrough of the report. Um, you can find documentation about our reports. You can find documentation about our methodologies on our website. Please don't hesitate to go to the, to the, to the blog section or the frequently asked questions um, because there's a lot of good material there that might be able to answer some, some deeper questions about valuation that you might have. Um, but in any case, we do also have a chat function you're more than happy to get in touch with us on. So this is the report. We have a logo, a company name at the beginning. We then move on to a company summary. So we provide a bit of uh, qualitative data, a bit of a profile of the company mixed with the forecast summary. So we look at the future profitability and cash forecasts of the projected years. Great way to start diving into a bit of that financial data, past funding rounds, current ownership of the company. And then we get to your two valuation pages. So the valuation page is really highlighting the pre-money valuation, the methodology, the weighting of those five methods, uh, again, to be able to transparently explain this to whoever's uh, reading the valuation reports or to investors, for example. Your current funding round section looks at the amount of capital that you're trying to uh, raise, and it highlights the fair market uh, price of shares in exchange for capital so that you know when you go to an investor, this is the fair starting point uh, of negotiations. Of course, Speaking to investors is still a negotiation. We want to make sure that we have a margin, that we understand how to leverage the, the data to be able to justify the result. But this is what a fair deal would look like uh, in this specific scenario. And we also highlight your post-money valuation as well. And then above the use of funds, we also have qualitative and quantitative methodology deep dives. So you can deep dive and see really how each valuation method is being computed. Um, so you can see here the qualitative methods, the parameters, the criteria, uh, the checklist mo model as well. You have your qualitative traits summary page to be able to highlight that important qualitative data from the questionnaire. Um, and then we have your VC method and your DCF models. And these are your more financially based models. You can see the flow of calculation. You can see the parameters, discount rates, survival rates. It's all transparently highlighted there to make sure that this valuation is not a deal breaker in the process of speaking to investors. Then we have your financial projections, profit and loss, and your cash flow. I don't think any report would be complete, would be complete without, any, without a few numbers at the end of it, right? And then we have an appendix section which dives deeper into our data sources, how often they're updated, where uh, we get our principles from, for example, for the weighting of the five methods. So there's a lot of additional information as to how Equidem is valuing companies. It's imperative that this information is transparent. Um, so of course, we're trying to help facilitate that conversation with investors. So the more data we give about uh, the valuation, the process of actually doing the valuation, makes it even more transparent and clear for investors as well. 
And then on your very last page, we have your last available balance sheet. And that is pretty much Equidem. Thank you for listening to my walkthrough of the platform. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach this little blue button in the bottom corner of both our websites or the platform. Um, you'll be speaking directly to me, so at least a familiar face. Um, and yeah, please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any other questions. There is some great material on our website as well in the blog section if you want to go have a look how to speak to investors, how to uh, solidify financial projections. We have a lot of really good information there that can help you uh, valuing your company. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much.